Last week, if you remember, uh, we talked about swiping from the top down on the phone to bring up, you know, the, the um, notifications. If you haven't seen that, you can find the notifications video uh, either here on Facebook on my uh, timeline or you can come to the uh, website over to BillSkladowski.com. Let me put that up for you over there at BillSkladowski.com where you can get a, a free tip sheet on using Siri to make your iPhone use even easier. So there you go. All right, but for today, let's uh, clear this out and let's head over to the phone. So we're talking today about the other swipes that you can do. Remember we talked about navigating on your phone using swipes, like swiping down from the top to bring up the, uh, to bring up the notifications and side to side, that's an easy one, right? We talked about notifications as well. Today we're gonna talk about the swipe that goes the other direction from the bottom up on your phone. And if you haven't done that yet or used that or wonder what happens when you do, well, the answer is you get to a feature called the iPhone Control Center. Uh, I, control Center. I was going to say Control Panel, Control Center. I never remember. Anyway, same trick. Remember we talked last time about starting at the top, really, with your phone, with your finger, literally at the top of the phone and then coming down across to help pull down? Well, on this one, to get it, I'm going to suggest you start... If you have a phone like mine, uh, I have an iPhone 8, which has the, the button on the bottom there. If you have a 6 or a 7 or an 8, uh, an iPhone that is, of course, that you put your finger right literally on that button there, okay? Now, if you have an iPhone 10 or X, whichever one you prefer, of course, the swipe is a little different to get to the control center. And if you have an iPhone 10, the swipe is literally from the upper right corner of the screen. I know it looks left on mine, but you know, the camera reverses things. So upper right corner on your screen, and then it's a swipe down. Okay. With, when I do that on my eight, of course, it brings up the notifications. But if you have a 10, it's going to be diagonally kind of across. For the rest of us with a six or a seven or an eight or even older, a five. Okay. That's an up swipe from the bottom up. And I know for you iPhone 10 people, if you do that, it gets you back to this home screen. So play along here with us, do whatever you need to do, because when you arrive at the control center, it looks exactly the same, whether you have a seven, eight, or 10, doesn't matter. Okay, you ever wonder what happened to the iPhone 9, by the way? I'm just asking, inquiring minds wanna know. So again, for those of us with the iPhone with the button, right, I put my finger literally right on the button and then swipe up from the bottom. Oh, and even then, it might take a little time to catch. All right, swipe up, there it is. <laughs> I did it with my thumb. So let me, let me show you what I did. I started with my thumb literally right on the button, all right, and then pulled up on it. And even then, it still sometimes is a little finicky, okay? But you'll get the hang of it. Um, if you're getting something else, like I did there, I, I just happened to lean on my, you know, phone button or on some of the other buttons that I have, and, and that's why some other thing appeared. But a little practice, practice makes perfect. Again, start on the bottom, start on the button there, and then up, okay? And this, by the way, is where we're going. This is the control center, okay? So there's a lot going on here, and we're probably not going to cover all of the buttons in detail today. That's another video for another day, but I do want to give you the basics here and, and some of the other fun stuff that's in there, okay? So, great, we've got the control center. What are we looking at? Well, upper left, okay, that's up here. If I, by the way, on any of these control center, the big buttons, the big two squares up at the top, I can put my finger right in the center of them that's not on any button. If So, like, on the on the one there that shows the airplane and the antennas and all that, if I put my finger directly in the middle of those four buttons and give it a little press, it opens up even bigger, okay? Now that only works if you have an iPhone or an iPad that has that 3D touch, okay? So if you, if you don't see that, don't worry about it. It doesn't change anything. You don't get any less, you know, more or less to play with. But just in case, if you want to get bigger buttons that also have the name of what they are underneath them, that's one thing that you can do there, all right? So again, just... Just so you know, just lean on it a little bit. Lean on it a little bit with your finger and it opens it up. So what are we going to get? Well, either way, let's start with the basics. 
uh, upper right, or excuse me, upper left corner there, the airplane is airplane mode. If you've ever been on the airplane, you know, and the stewardesses nowadays, I shouldn't say stewardesses, flight attendants, I'm showing off my old age there, aren't I? The flight attendants may ask you to fully turn off any phone or iPad or any other internet connected device nowadays. They may, sometimes it's airplane mode, sometimes not. But if you put it, if you tap on that, it goes to airplane mode, which turns off all the radios that are in your phone, you know, so cell phone, internet, all that stuff. Okay. Then there's the next one. Uh, the next one to it is the, um, is the uh, cell phone data connection. That's the green one there with a the little radio waves on it. The one that looks uh, right underneath the airplane there is your Wi-Fi connection. So that shows that you are indeed connected to Wi-Fi. I'm connected here in my house. And the one next to that is Bluetooth, which if you have a car that connects wirelessly to your phone, that's a Bluetooth connection. If you have, and I have them right here, hang on. I also have my little Apple EarPods. And whoa, <laughs> don't do this at home. This is an EarPod. It's like, it's like an earphone, but it has, no, it has no cable on it, right? It just goes in your ear. That connects to the phone via Bluetooth radio. There you go. So just be aware. Oh, did you see that, by the way? When I took it out and I went to put it into my ear, it automatically showed up over there. Or it did, and then I take it out. All right, whatever. So, okay, that's Bluetooth. Anyway, I just want to go through these quickly for us. The uh, next to the other one, the other big, blo uh, big box there on the upper right is if you're playing back any audio on your phone whether you're playing in uh, iTunes or on an internet radio station or any recorded music that you might happen to have on your phone, this will give you a quick control to start and stop, to fast forward to the next track and that sort of thing, okay? And by the way, if you are playing something, here, let me bring up some music here. I'll go into the, I'll go into music and I'll go into artists and, oh, let's do the bangles. Remember the bang, jeez, am I setting myself like, walk like an Egyptian, remember that one? I know, how old am I? I know, right? Can you hear it? I don't hear it. All right, but see, it's playing. See the little playing down there? So if I go back and I were to open up the control center, see, there it is. It shows it's playing, and I can tap on that center button there to make it stop and play and stop and play. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Because when the button shows what will happen when you tap on it. I think that's going to take a whole other video, by the way, just to explain that one little point. Because a lot of folks... I get confused by that, that, okay, it shows the two bars, which means it's not playing. No, that shows what happens when you push the button. When you push the button, it stops. When you push the button that looks like a playback button, now it starts to play again. I know it's weird. Okay. So, like I said, that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. All right. So, other buttons, quickly. Uh, the lock the lock with the circle around it prevents the screen from rotating when you have the uh, screen set to rotate automatically. You know, if you want to read emails or something and you'd rather read it this way or a website or something and you turn it, it will automatically, the screen will also rotate, you know, it will flip. The lock, if I tap on it, it prevents, see it says portrait orientation locked or on or off. It prevents it from doing that. So if you hold the phone sideways, it still won't rotate with it. All right. Next is do not disturb. That's the little moon up there. The do not disturb will, if I turn it on, it will block or send all my phone calls directly to voicemail. Same thing with texts. They won't make any noise. They won't do anything. It's called do not disturb. All right. The two kind of long ones there are sliders, which means if you put your finger on it, you can make the screen brighter or darker. And you can't see it on here, but I can see it on my uh, maybe you can see it if I if I do it on my phone here. Maybe I could show you er, brighter, darker. Oh, you see, you can see it on the on the camera there, but you can't see it on the screen next to it there. So anyway, that's the screen brightness and darkness. By the way, it also works for the flashlight. And then one next to it is volume. You can turn the volume on your uh, phone up and down by sliding that guy up. Oh, sliding that guy up and down. Let's lean on him. There we go. So you can tap, slide, etc. All right, I think I'm playing something back. That's why it's not working. So anyway, uh, other ones. Now, beneath that, by the way, the, the one that says dock connector down there, that's just because I have it plugged in to the, be able to show you the video here. So we'll talk more about that later. The ones underneath, I have eight different buttons down there. 
those you can change. So if you're doing this at home, your buttons might look different. They may be different buttons down there on the bottom. And next time, uh, maybe one of these days, we'll talk about changing those buttons to make it more, you know, to get what you want. All right. But on mine, for example, the first one is the ability is a note. If I want to write a new note in the notes app. The next one is the magnifying glass. Very cool, by the way. It opens up, the, it uses the camera on your phone so that you can magnify. Here, this is the microphone I'm using to, to, on my thing here. So that you can magnify and read stuff. Okay. How helpful would that be in like a restaurant where, uh, you know, uh, with a menu that you can barely read? Use the magnifier. It's a whole nother day on that one too. Uh, the other one down there next to the magnifier, very popular, the calculator, of course. Open up the calculator so you can do your calculating and figure out the tip in that restaurant. And then the flashlight, of course. Turn on the flashlight. There's the, I got the flashlight turned on. And now you can use that brightness to actually turn it up and down as well. Over there, that'll turn the flashlight up and down. It has several stages of brightness. Underneath that, there is the stopwatch, if you want to use a stopwatch. Uh, next to that is the wallet, the Apple wallet. That's another whole video about saving credit cards, boarding passes, tickets to events and stuff like that. There's a whole thing there. The uh, next one is the uh, uh, battery, which you can turn to low power mode, which if you're starting to run out of battery and it's going to be a while before you can charge it up again, you can put the phone into low power mode so it uses less energy and hopefully extends the battery life until you can get it recharged. And then the next one, the, uh, the small a, big A, lets you uh, change the text font size on your phone so that you can make it bigger or smaller. Ooh, again, for us baby boomers with the eyes that might be getting a little bit older, very helpful. In fact, I'm hard at work right now on a whole new list of things that will help make your iPhone easier to use for us baby boomers and senior citizens. There, I said it. I just put it out there. Okay, so that's coming soon. In fact, if you would like to uh, check on that, I would invite you to go over and visit the uh, website, BillSklodowski.com, just like it says there. Right now on the website, we are still doing the Siri tips and tricks. The red button that you see there right under the big headline where it says helping baby boomers learn to use technology. All right. If you sign up for the uh, newsletter, you will get a notification of the videos as I do them. And you will also get a list of more than a dozen tips and tricks to help you use your phone with Siri so that, you know, it makes it easier for you to use the phone. I talked a little bit about that. There's so much that Siri can do, so much, that it's probably going to be a whole couple, three or four videos just on doing that. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today. That's with our other swipe on the getting to the control center, which, like I said, is the swipe from the bottom up on the phone. And that one's a little hard sometimes to catch, isn't it? Swipe up from the bottom. Works when I use my thumb for some reason. And by the way, to get out of that, if I'm doing something on that control panel and, I, and I've and i swiped up and I'm in the control panel, how do I get out of it? Well, just push the, bu push the home button again. Home button. And it takes you right back to home. Or, for those with good eyes out there and have noticed, you'll see up at the top. Well, wait a minute. Let me show you. Up at the top there, see that down arrow up there? If I just tap on that, it closes it back down. So there, I just wanted to share that with you on how you get out of something. All right, that's going to do it for today. If you uh, haven't done so yet, please head over to the blog uh, right there beneath you, BillSklodowski.com. I'll leave the link beneath the video. If you have questions or comments, if there's something that you would like to learn about using your iPad or iPhone, they work very much the same. Uh, iPad or iPhone, leave that below either here on the uh, Facebook page or if you see it on YouTube or on uh, uh, the blog as well, stop by. Stop by the blog for your free Siri tip sheet and uh, get yourself signed up so that you know when the latest videos are coming out and you'll be in the loop. You don't want to be out. All right, it's going to do it for today. Have yourself a great weekend. I will see you again next week. Thanks for stopping by.